Medicare at Cardiff and today we're looking at a range of different bathroom shower equipment and we've got Ali with us. Tell us about what we have in front of us here at the moment. Thank you Scott. So what we've got here we have our mobile shower commode. Um, this one is in an attendant propel version but we do also have the option of self propel. The um, self propelled mean. So if the client has the appropriate upper limb strength to be able to propel themselves um, around big the larger side. wheels, kind of like a wheelchair. Yes, with a big large People wheel. listening that have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> and the tender propelled, obviously we don't have those bigger wheels. We've got yeah. someone who's pushing the commode okay. from the shower to the toilet. Um, this model here, we've got it in the swing away foot plates, but we do also have um, weight bearing platform models available as well. And we do have a range of sizes. Okay. Yep. Mode. And then difference of this versus this, kind of the same product, but some key differences. Yeah, so obviously they're both um, mobile shower commodes in that they're on wheels. This and one doesn't have a seat around. at the moment. Yes, <laughs> it, it would have this seat, or we yep. do have other seating options and custom seat options available as well. But I guess the key difference is this one is an upright seat, um, so someone who's still able yep. to sit themselves upright, and the model that we have here is a tilting space. Yep. Can you show the tilt I option? I sure can. So the tilt option would be like that. Yep. Fantastic. And then jumping back on the customizable seat options, tell us a little bit about that. When would an OT be thinking about something like that, and then how does that occur? Yeah, so um, with showering, toileting, daily care tasks, um, obviously some clients might sit on the commode for a longer period of time. So if we'd have someone who has a longer um, morning routine, they could be on the commode for 40 minutes if they use it over the toilet and then in the shower. So if we've got a client who's got really high um, pressure risk um, or injuries of developing pressure uh, risk factors, then we could customise the seat with special pressure reducing um, Mode seat. We can also do different cutouts and different fixtures as well. Yep. And then some of these will have the ability for like a pan to slide underneath it as well. Yes. Yeah. So which can be a really good option for people with like, say, the side, um, the bed inside the bedroom, or just to facilitate, um, you know, a hygienic transfer from bedroom through to toilet if you're using this to move through um, a room um, as a locomotion sort of aid as well. Yeah. 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 Anything else that you would like to cover? Um, I briefly covered it before, but yeah, we do have a range of sizes available for these ones. We've obviously got the nice open back design, so we can do good hygiene access and cleaning for the client. Yeah. Um, we can configure the arm different ways like that, and it also swings back if we've got a client who needs to transfer that way. Um, total locking casters, so we've got the Tente casters, and they can lock. Um, as we need. I'd say classically too, like something to add with these types of um, um, assistive pieces of equipment is you often have like this size of wheel and a lot of these products were designed initially say for hospital environments mm -hmm. with floors that even on carpet like this move really well. Some challenges can exist in the home environment when you're moving using maybe a piece of equipment like this to move from sometimes bed to bathroom it may be used and we have to then look at is it moving over um, thresholds um, maybe there's some threshold little ramps that need to be assisted there but in particular moving around carpet um, as well as even sometimes in tight bathrooms just the turning circle of being able to how does this then transition from bathroom into shower and then back out so there's a lot of considerations sometimes we can think of a piece of equipment like this as relatively easy to prescribe and it certainly can be in some circumstances but often it's the interplay of the pieces of equipment and the environment in someone's home that is usually the most complex thing to figure out yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Especially if we're thinking about the self propel model with the big wheels, we're thinking it's a wider chair again. Are we getting, getting it through, through doorways yeah. in and out of the bathroom? Yeah. Um, with the tilting space chair here, there are some other options. So we do have um, accessories available. We can also configure the backrest and take the top quarter off. So if we have someone who doesn't require the whole backrest, um, we can take that off as well. So yeah, there's lots of different options there. It also does have recline through the back here. Yeah. So we've got three different angles of adjustment there as well. Perfect. Awesome.
awesome. So lots of different features can be quite complex, but a wonderful OT is always able to take you through these things um, or a client, somebody that you're supporting, a loved one, find the best options to make sure that, you know, some of the main things that we do in a day, whether that's toileting or showering, can be done in a comfortable way, in a safe way, and also a way that maximises independence. Yeah. Wonderful. Thanks so much for listening. We'll see you in the next video. Thank Bye. you. Bye.